What's going on everyone out in the YouTube world? I've got a question that I need to answer for somebody. Uh, this one's been on the back burner for quite some time, so I need to get to it. This question comes in from Eric, and I need to read you the whole thing so you can get some context as to um, what his question is and what I have to say about it, okay? So here he says, uh, Hello William, I'm fresh out of high school and always had a passion for computers, networks, etc. I'm going after my passion because I wish to become an IT professional and maybe a IT manager. Do you think I should major in, inform in management information systems? It's a business degree, but it also covers courses that will help me to hopefully land as a system administrator. I don't think I have a huge chance of landing a job as a sysadmin though, so I thought about working as a computer support specialist first gain experience while getting certs and go for a system administrator a system administrator job question mark instead should i do help desk computer support specialist in quote uh, parentheses get certs network admin then sysadmin so okay really loaded question okay and there's a lot of information in there so this is going to be a little bit more of a long form uh, video for you all because there's just a lot to talk about, okay? So the first thing is that he's a young guy, straight out of high school, probably 17 or 18 years old. So kudos to you for having some sort of vision of what you wanna do when you get older. When I was 18, I had no clue, but that's besides the point. Um, all right, so you might want to be a manager and you might not want to be a manager, okay? So there's a, there's a few different things to consider here, okay? First of all, I'm not here to tell anyone to not go and get a degree, a college degree, okay? Uh, because that's completely your choice and I don't want people pissed off at me saying that, there's a guy on YouTube saying don't get degrees, okay? Especially to you younger younger folks, because um, I know that parents would be absolutely uh, upset if people were saying that kind of stuff to their kids. Um, you've got a couple different choices here, okay? To be an IT manager, first of all, what I would suggest is that you have an understanding of information technology, okay? And there's two ways to go about it. One, you can go to school and get your degree in management information systems, which is also called MIS, an MIS degree, okay? Where they do cover business courses and they do go over some, uh, some information technology courses, so you kind of get a mix of both. And it might not be a bad idea to go for that because you'll get, you'll get you know, some management stuff in there. It'll look good on your resume, okay? And then you'll get some information on information technology. Now, you will get less information about actually how to, how to work as an administrator, if you will, okay? So for that, you're gonna need to find a focus area on where you wanna be. So for example, you know, I've talked about this a bunch, you know, certifications, right? You got to decide on what path you want to be or which path you want to go in, right? You can go into Microsoft, you can go into, um, you know, Linux ad ad administration, you could do database administration. I mean, there's all different types of administers out there, okay? Uh, Eric specifically said system administrator. And so, as a system administrator, again, you could do the Microsoft path on that. You could uh, administer um, servers, which is pretty much what you'll be doing. Um, and I, I talked about that in the system, in the administration video, which I'll post below. You can go watch that, and it gives you all the breakdown of, of exactly what an admin does. But to, to answer the question here is, do you go to school or not? Okay, now, here's another option for you, okay? 
you can either go to school for four years, right, and get that degree, okay? If you decide to do that, what I would do while you're in school, okay, if you want to be a system administrator of some sort, figure out what kind of system administrator, and then on the side, start studying for certifications in whatever realm that is, okay? So let's say, for example, you want to go and you want to administer, uh, you know, Microsoft servers, um, you know, the Windows OS, right? So you want to go get some Microsoft certifications on, you know, all the different areas of Microsoft, basically, of the operating system. Or if Linux is a, uh, a, uh, a curious thing for you, then go start studying some Linux stuff and, and you can become a Linux administrator. You know what I'm saying? So decide what path you want to go and then start studying that stuff, right? And then you could even get a job while you're still going to school and get a head start. You follow what I'm saying? Um, otherwise, you're just going to be studying for four years to get a college degree and you're not really starting until four years later. So it kind of depends on how quick you want to jumpstart your career. A lot of people like to just go to school for four years and party and you know do all that kind of stuff. Uh, in your case here, if you want the degree and you want to start a job as a system admin, you could do it in parallel. Okay, it's an option. Now, if you decide not to go to school and get a, a bachelor's degree, then you can go straight into the certification path, and uh, or you can get you can go to a technical college for you know that type of stuff for a technical degree specifically you know like a two-year degree uh, at the same time you'll be getting certifications as well but you'll be starting off somewhere as a help desk technician or desktop support uh, support specialist as you named it which could be a you know that, that's also a job role as well depending on the company so you will start at the bottom and you'll just work your way up to an administrator Okay, um, but it really depends on the path that you want to go. To become a manager, let me go back to what I said earlier in this video. It's unfortunate there's a, there's a lot of managers out there in the IT world that don't have a good understanding about IT. They're just managers and it makes it really difficult for those of us that are technical and that report to these managers when they don't really understand technology okay and it happens quite a bit and so what I'm telling you is that you or anybody out there that wants to become an IT manager you should consider the fact that you you, you need to be knowledgeable around IT so you don't so that you could communicate with your team at that level okay and not just spit out manager crap and so that you have an understanding of what your team is doing okay um, and you know having an MIS degree might help you with that the other thing too is a lot of people just work their way up the the ladder okay they'll start at help desk and eventually 15 years later they'll be an IT manager matter of fact I have a friend uh, that did exactly that and um, he's actually gonna be on this show uh, we're going to be doing a um, a, uh, a Q and A with him, but uh, you know that's something else you could do. Your third option, right? If you decide not to go to school uh, or get this bachelor's degree, once you get in the field, right, and uh, if you find a company that will subsidize your tuition, there's a lot of companies that do tuition reimbursement. That's another thing you can consider. Okay. So while you're working, you can be going to school and earning that MIS degree or management degree or whatever it is to help you become uh, or to, to help you uh, earn that degree that will look better on a resume so that you can become an IT manager. That's just another option for you. And so I know this video, we, I, I was kind of a little bit all over the place, but 
there's just a lot to talk about with this particular question. So I, I hope I didn't confuse the heck out of you too much. Watch it again if you need clarification, or just ask me in the comments below, and I'll be more than willing to uh, to clarify for you and anyone else uh, as to this type of uh, scenario here. So I'll end on that note. Thank you for watching. As always, if you're, if this is your first time here, I want to welcome you. Make sure you subscribe. Um, and uh, leave a thumbs up too if it's a helpful video for you. Um, ask questions in any other comments of the videos. You can send me questions privately through a YouTube uh, uh, message platform. And I uh, hope to hear from you soon. We'll talk to you later. We'll see you on the next video.